Honorable Judge, dear audience, honorable opponents, today's topic is pretty important. And to be more specific, the issues of that subject are comparable to an iceberg. There is that submerged part that represents our first stop when we hear the subject, such as um, if we choose English, will hurt Mr. Shaki's feelings. But it does go further than that, and choosing one of these languages can, no, will lead to different consequences in a lot of fields. So we have to be really careful in choosing the right language. Because as John Arminson said, the language is what created the human and what could destroy him. That's why Morocco should open its doors to English rather than French. You will tell me your opponents why? We'll answer my colleagues and I through our intervention based on reliable resources, believable experiences, and not just a bunch, but a big bowl of food. So please stay tuned, things are getting really interesting. As soon as the subject was given to us, our first destination was truly Wikipedia, and we were pleasantly surprised and pleasantly, uh, pleasantly surprised to see that for an amount of six million articles in English against just two million ones in French, we saw the real impact of English worldwide. And we also felt that scientific field is more English speaking than French speaking. Well, that's one. Second, I want to inform you, dear ladies, that English is an important skill and is hugely requested in the job, uh, in, to get a job in the job domain. And uh, even in France, it's the case according to the Minister of National Education there. So even the countries that you are interested in defending, dear ladies, are joining us on our front. And personally, I think it's obvious because when we hear, according to Villa, a partner of the United Nations, that 1.6 billion people are talking English worldwide, then for an amount of 94 countries out of 194 that are considering English as an official language, we see that English is setting up the bar very high for any other language that you could defend. So that's why Morocco should open its doors to English rather than French, because it will afford to your Moroccans more chances to succeed abroad. And even for the ones that want to continue their studies out of the country, they can. Uh, they have multiple choices and a bigger list to, uh, of countries where they can join. Uh, and even for the country itself, it is beneficial because it will build more relationships with other countries. You will tell me that it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Let me tell you that we have both of them in this case. We have both of them in this case. And we're, how, as we say, we're heading two birds in one of us. Two cute birds in one of us. Let's just hope that this one of us, which is English, could be the solution to make Morocco involved. English is not the most spoken language in the world, but it's the most international one. It's indeed the language of science, technology, and of course research. Of 80% of research in the globe is done in English. This means that Everybody who wants to have a good education and or career needs to get good at this international tongue. But the question is, should really Morocco use English as a second language rather than French? Or let's reword it this way if you allow us to. Is the use of English for our own benefit, politically, geostrategically, and economically speaking? Do Moroccans need to use it as a second language in order to master it? Our answer is a big no. First of all, French legacy and international organization as a Francophony. We all know that Morocco was colonized by France since the Treaty of Paris in 2012 that divided the country into French and Spanish until 1956, when we finally regained independence after 44 years of French rule. The first constitution was not established until 1962. Speaking of that, either you like it or not, there is a tremendously huge French legacy in Morocco. Moreover, Moroccan constitution meets the French one in a lot of laws, from the public law to the private one, especially labor law and social security. Whoever studies labor law um, in both countries will find out the big similarities. If using English as a second language in our courts and Supreme Court means only translating the, the rules from a language to another, this will be a piece of cake. 
but laws are rules that recognize the country and regulate actions of its members. If the community is Morocco and the members are we Moroccans, then it will be possible to establish another constitution. Furthermore, Morocco is an active member of the international organization of the Francophonie, uh, representing countries where French is the French language, a customary language. As French is part of Morocco's culture, using English as a second language is cutting ties with all its allies. And by doing that, our beloved kingdom would not have an important geopolitical role. In fact, in geostrategy, allies are, and partners are made based on win-win relationships. And we always choose them depending on shared culture, language, geographical closeness, and so on. Two, French is the professional language in Morocco. When it comes to administration, government, or and business, both public and private, there is no English involved. Either you want to, to start a project, ask for a birth certificate, or get your driver's license. The use of English is 0% in the administrative field. You will be asked to choose between Arabic and French or use both. In our national events, different ministries, meetings, and television media interviews um, use Arabic and French uh, in their meetings. Additionally, in our international events done outside the country, a lot of politicians use English instead. Uh, we admit it, looking, in looking for a job and involving in your career, is, uh, English is a must and it helps you getting in and having a better career perspective. This is exactly fine because that's what we are doing here. Thank you. Morocco has been independent from France since November 1956, yet French influence is still plainly heard, seen, and perceived in this country, especially language-wise. So don't you think it's time for us to finally move on from the past? Now, one of the most important issues in this debate is the question of how much, if at all, the French language actually benefits Morocco. French is no longer the language of the world, but English, on the other hand, has become ubiquitous. We have to be pragmatic and strategic in choosing the language that best serves the needs of our society and the challenges of the world today. For this sole reason, English offers the best opportunities for our education and economy to benefit from the chance to advance and catch up with the uh, developing countries and economies of the world. First, in terms of education, it is much easier for students to gain access to information if they are proficient in English. Moroccan students who, for many reasons, did not extensively study English during the baccalaureate classes, found it hard to perform well in their university, uh, in their university disciplines, regardless of the courses they take. Students at a certain level require English, especially when conducting uh, research, because most of the references they need are often in English. English-speaking firms dominate many technical fields, such as computer programming and engineering. If Moroccan students of technology or engineering wish to continue their studies at a foreign university, they will be ineligible for the top universities, the vast majority of which are integrated in the USA, um, simply because of the language barrier. So this is not the only the case for science uh, students, for also art and humanities students. Many students at university who study French linguistics stick at their graduation year because most of the sources about new linguistic theories are, ex uh, are exclusively in English. Those who can understand the books and articles written in English are able to come out with new, uh, ling with new research topics and manage to enroll in their graduate programs. Second, while French remains a pretty strong language in the world of politics, if it is a question of which language to adapt, English still comes out on top. English would give Morocco a strategically prestigious position in the global scene. English is an economically more viable option. Economic and employment trends have changed the way English is used. Increasingly, and now more than ever, non-native speakers need to use the language daily for presentation of complex ideas, international collaboration and negotiation, and critical interpretation of rapidly changing information. Ben Perius is a political theorist who has written extensively about the benefits of the English language in helping to promote social and economic justice globally. 
He argues that the promotion of the teaching and learning of English in low-income countries, such as Morocco, um, could help reduce out-migration of highly uh, trained, I'm sorry, of highly trained English-speaking citizens who flee in great numbers to the wealthier economy, uh, knowledge economy business countries. He argues that the reclamation of lost income and increased corporate taxes could be used for massive investment in English language teaching, leading to an increase in, an increase in productivity in gross domestic products. Even more ambitiously, we need English as a second language in Morocco because its adoption and spreading facilitates direct communication, live or online. It, it, it enables not only the rich and the powerful, but also the poor and the powerless to communicate, debate, network, lobby, cooperate, and demonstrate effectively across borders. Now, this fact provides a fundamental reason why Morocco must, and I say must, uh, we consider the position of English. Thank you. English is considered as a global language. Thus, both the West and the East are equally busy promoting it. But it is time for non-English speaking countries to seriously think about who is being really benefited from this language promotion. Why millions of dollars are being invested in language programs such as ELT, for example. Is it just for the sake of development? I mean, why do we really have to adopt someone else's language slash identity in order to achieve development? I mean, which makes me think, is it really that impossible to achieve that in our own language, in our own identity? Why only use English in areas such as research or, or, even, or even science, management or administration? You can't imagine a, a democratic country with only one party, right? So equally, you can't imagine an international diplomacy with only one unique language. This is mind-boggling because I'm devastated to see that in the media, promoting Shakespeare's language is considered more efficient and more cool than French. They're sending the wrong message because there is no hierarchy between languages, and the language is a source of know-how and knowledge. Thus, I humbly find your point of view extremely irrelevant. It's time to wake up. Aren't you seeing what it's doing right now? I mean, the promotion of English is a more modern way of colonization, where it's depriving us from our identity and our language, because either we do that, I mean sacrifice our own language, or we'll say in the eyes of the world that poor, uh, non-developed country. It's triggering me how no one is speaking about this. This phenomenon worries us because by using English, shops are selling uh, shops are selling an, a sort of an American dream, a dream of globalization. And our dear opponents here present are serving them in a golden tray. Now that I've had the chance to speak about this, today's motion is: Is it wise enough to replace English to replace French by English in Morocco? Though I don't believe in hierarchy between languages, French is a part of our history, thus making it a part of our identity. So, and that's why French is mainly used in administration, banking, commerce, education, and in, in industry. And within Morocco, most of studies are done in English, I mean scientific subjects, and French is the vehicle of science, technology, and modern culture. And that brings us to the important fact that we just can't get rid of it or replace it with another, with another language, which is English, that has no history boundings with Morocco, and just expect it to work. Which brings me to think, why should we really replace one another? Why can't we use them both and take each one of them by the, by the benefits? Because this is the 21st century, right? You, you don't have to switch to switch. You can have tea, coffee, and hot chocolate at the same time, and it shouldn't be surprising. Thank you.
Greetings. The topic led us in my team's position to ask a bunch of questions. How English is so important? Why should we take it as a second language? What is the benefit? First, English is becoming very important by the time. More people than any other language speak English all over the world. It's the major language of news and information. Moreover, it's the international language of diplomacy, like business, science, computing, technology, medicine, etc. As it's used in the best careers in the best universities. The, for decades, Morocco has been missing out on this important factor of success in this modern world. As we all share as I've seen our friends in Morocco finally hope into the train of modernization and globalization, and after Morocco has been independent for 62 years now, the French influence is still persevered in almost all areas of life in the Moroccan country. Because France actively promotes the use of language in the country, not that it's only for its own benefit to create an indirect in parallel. But forcing Morocco of using French in business, education, and research is an absolutely yeah, absurd I, side effect. What, what, uh, yes. <laughs> you said that we should use English because it's the most spoken language in the world. So, when Mandarin becomes the most spoken language in the world, we shall switch to Chinese and just keep following the world and not be unique in our own way. Well, actually, let's go to that time when this German and other countries, let's talk about Mandarin. Mandarin is still used, but after all, we all prefer English, right? <laughs> It's been long. I don't know if it's a single term, but we have been slain. But we are lay. That we are dependent. And we are incapable to make, to, uh, we are incapable to develop. And we may not prepare a second rank. I believe that eventually English will replace French in, in Morocco and other countries. This is just a fact. English is more spoken around the world. And if the, the country wants to be included in the, the world economy, then sooner or later we have just assimilated as it will be in Morocco best interested. So, as said Louis Smith, you can reach for anything you if your hand are served for yesterday's junk. So Morocco should truly touch the link with its colonial history and look forward to the future. Sometimes when I to my country, I start to wonder whether I'm being sick all night, but in more subdued manner. In a recent interview with African Art Online with Leila Alami, a uh, Moroccan-American writer, analyzed her education. Moroccans speak the wrong language between themselves and with the rest of the world. And because of this, we are unable to get into the mainstream of globalization. And we isolate ourselves more and more from the developed other part, such as South Asia. We should be free from French as soon as possible, as we should get to English, the place of second language. Did you know, guys, that English can help us to improve our economy? Because Morocco will be enabled to quickly attract, attract multinational cooperation, which needs to invest abroad, but will prefer the English speaking destination for an easy communication and a broader understanding of the Arabian culture. Additionally, the greater shift to English will inevitably lead to the gradual adopt of love of culture that comes from uh, the American culture, culture which uh, values work and productivity, unlike from Kavan culture that has become synonymous for joie de vivre, which is becoming a threat for this from Kavan country. In general, Morocco will open new horizons to this Moroccan businessman and investor to have a bigger impact on this global market, especially if they master the language English, such as the mastery to the language French. Thank you. Member of the government, you are contradicting yourself. You just said that we should follow the most spoken language in the world, which is English. And I asked you if we switch to Mandarin, uh, will we switch to Chinese? And you said no, because we prefer English. So are you saying we should follow the most spoken language in the world or the language that you prefer? I don't know. French? French is the official language in the one in the most dynamic emerging economies in Africa. Like in Morocco, it, um, it serves as Morocco's primary language of commerce, economy, and um, culture, science, and medicine. It is also widely used in education and government. 
We do not believe that one language is better than the other. One may be easier to learn or more famous, but neither will be better. Our mission today is to verify which language is better for Morocco. We are not talking about the world or which one is better for us to follow the world. We are trying to be unique and do things in our own way and emerge in our own way. So our country will always run on French. We are not saying what English in bad is bad. In fact, it's an amazing language that we should all learn. But Morocco cannot run away from France. Did you know that even after the independence of Morocco, they tried to bring Arabic back or Arabize the education again, but they couldn't. We were too attached to French, and we are expected to jump straight on an English train that we don't even know where it's going. You could tell me that we will go straight for the win, but no one can predict the future. Unless if you're a fortune teller, I don't know, but we don't know what the future holds. So why not leave French as it is, but learn as many languages as possible? Leave our sanctity language as it is and continue on our own track. Yes. You uh, talked about trains. Yes. Uh, let me tell you that you, you can consider it as the most taught, uh, the most taught uh, language in the world. Uh, you have to know that the only people that are taught in Chinese are in Asia. English is taught roughly worldwide. So you telling me that you want to lay on the help of Chinese, uh, of, of Chinese people uh, uh, by learning their language. Let me tell you that for being powerful, you cannot lay on, on one country. Uh, I invite you to go, uh, to go read about the diplomacy. It will be more useful. <laughs> In fact, no, I didn't say that uh, that's Chinese. I didn't say that Chinese is the most spoken language in the world. In fact, everyone predicts and everyone knows it's a fact that if they keep on the same birth rate and it's not just them that speak Chinese, all over the world people are learning Mandarin. Did you know that in Saudi Arabia they're going to put Chinese in school? They're going to start learning Chinese. So it's not just them that speak it. And you just said that um, we should not... Uh, follow one country or uh, follow a country. So now you're t you just said that we should follow America and all the countries that speak English or Europe because it's the most widely spoke, uh, spoken language in the world. So I don't think that any language could be called better than any other language. Each one has an effective message of communication for a large number of people and will be more or less relevant based on someone's physical location, like the fact that we exist in Morocco, North Africa. So many students dropping out of university nowadays because they don't speak French. The government has proposed reintroducing it as the language for teaching science, math, and technical subjects such as computer science in high schools. We are having problems with the language that has been here and controlling us for decades. And we are expected to do a complete switch of languages. That is impossible because also... Uh, hold on. It isn't possible to develop in the same pace without adopting English. And uh, I don't think you, uh, you understand uh, French or your position. French isn't our identity because 100 years ago, we, were, we, we talked Arabic. Our true, identity is, our true identity is Arabic. And after the cruel col colonization that brainwashed you, uh, even after 100 years, uh, you're still saying that that French is your identity? I don't think so. Plus, if English is colonizing it, us, it's with our consent, I think. And, uh, but I would like to apologize on behalf of my friend, uh, uh, on behalf of my friend, uh, the member of the government, because uh, she misunderstood you. Uh, the moment, the moment Mandarin becomes first, we will then hold another debate. But as of for now, I think we should just sit down there and wait. <laughs> now, now, who wants, now, who wants to be an engineer or a doctor? Who wants to be an engineer or a doctor? I think there's a lot of people that want to, to become engineers. 
And so uh, I think that science is important. I mean, uh, math, physics, these are necessary uh, subjects for you to become uh, what you want to become. And according to Morning Trends, 98% of pu scientific publications are written in English. So would you choose to join us and have access to this 98% or join them and uh, pretty much you waste your chance of becoming an engineer or doctor? Uh, after, uh, after doing my research, I found out that French and English have indeed a lot of differences. For instance, defining articles, um, in French there are four, le, la, les, et la poste. While in English, you can write blindfolded, T-H-E, the, that's it, you don't have to make a choice. Uh, the same goes for conjugation, because we here choose the simple fact, we have to memorize four, four endings, while our hard work and astonishing uh, students, give them a gold clap, please, because they are not... That was bad. Uh, P-O-I. Uh, no, no, the design. Because they want to memorize more than 50 endings, and that's a lot. Uh, who wants to be a pilot? You know, fly in the air and stuff like that. Good, there's, there are some people who want to become pilots. P-O-I. Uh, in air traffic. In air traffic, the only P -O -I. language... No, I said the sign. Uh, the only language that is used, the only language that is used in air traffic is English, while French, unfortunately for you, is in Uh Another fact is that 60% of students in the world, uh, when opting to study a foreign language, they choose uh, English. And guess what language is in French? French. Uh, now that I want to ask you to prove my dear friend, she, she studied with me last year. How are you? Everything's good? Good. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, we are debating, right? So, uh, Nizi is, Nizi is, uh, uh, it, 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 I know it's hard. It's a, he is a debater. It, he is uh, simply a debater. And you are, Sifu, a debater. Wow, wonderful. Now, I want to do the same thing, but translating it into French. Could you do that for me, please? Nizi is, uh, Nizi is. Mehdi est... Please, I'm wasting time here. I'm wasting time. Mehdi est un débatteur. Je suis une débatteuse. Different. Gender difference, everyone. Thank you. Along with Arabic, French has long been one of Morocco's languages. It is the language of culture, the flip side of our identity. It is, which is the result of a long coexistence and exchanges between generations. Even though Morocco has been independent from French colonialism since 1956, the French language has never left our history and even left our memory. And while some are trying to bury the French language into a deep grave, there seems to be a revival of interest for the language. The demand of French lessons is growing, according to Mohamed Melki, a former teacher of French and literature for many years. Uh, Melki was later named Inspector General of French at the Moroccan Education Ministry. We are in a context of globalization, internationalized economy, closer relations with the European Union, the development of offshoring, etc. And for Morocco, French is the historic bridge to Europe, he said. Let's take a look at the IFM, the French Institution of Morocco. Uh, it has regional offices across the country. Their classes are fully booked and they never lack students. Young Moroccans are more and more eager to learn French and the, uh, the demand outweighs the supply. And uh, it is a new reality that totally contradicts those who had prematurely announced the death of the French language, which is before everything a part of the daily life of Moroccans. It is a legacy from a period of colonialization during which it was even proclaimed the official language of colonial institutions. And even a half century later, uh, after the, the country's independence, the French language remains widespread in Morocco, especially in the private sectors, uh, where schools include in their programs French services and activities of a playful or cultural nature are <laughs> much appealing to... Yes? Can you suppose that, that in development, that in development that we face in uh, uh, in, uh, in in the school sector, isn't isn't uh, uh, isn't uh, 
uh, isn't due to the use of French as much the use of English. Because we are according more, uh, more important uh, uh, in Morocco, uh, we are according more important to French in Morocco than English. Don't you think that in, that in development is caused by this? The development or undevelopment? I, well, I, I think that the undevelopment. What, what, I, what, what's the undevelopment? <laughs> uh, well, I don't think that the undevelopment of, of schools and education. <laughs> I, I don't think that the undevelopment of the educational system is that it is due to the to the the, the, the use of a language rather than another. And I think that. Well, uh, in our educational uh, educational system, the French take uh, a huge part. Where, uh, well, Moroccans learn French at uh, an early age, and uh, compared to English. Okay, so schools, including their programs, f uh, French services, and uh, activities of a playful or cultural nature, is most appealing to French to Arabic as to French. The same is true to the media sector, including television and radio news. Generally, we speak more French at home than Arabic. It is not, we are not proud of this, but it is a habit we took. Thank you. Um, I invite you, um, I invite you, Deputy uh, Leader of the. Uh, I invite you, Deputy Leader of the Opposition, to uh, recant with me the, the motion because we aren't talk, we are talking about English as a second language, considering that Arabic is our first. And uh, uh, King, which let me, uh, King, which let me answer you, too, Leader of the Opposition, because you talked about, uh, you talked about, uh, uh, you considered that uh, the most speaks, uh, the most spoken uh, uh, language is the most powerful one. Uh, let, 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 uh, Let's, let's all together, uh, let's together remember uh, what I said and uh, my first, my first point of information. Uh, 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 to, to get back to, to your China's argument, member of the opposition, uh, uh, you said that uh, we won't, we won't wait till your prediction of Chinese being the most powerful, uh, the most powerful language became true. What I'm talking about now, we want to change. No, we don't want to change uh, five years after. Uh, let me tell you also, uh, 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 dear uh, opposition whip, uh, that you misunderstood, you misunderstood me. Uh, because, uh, you misunderstood me b because uh, uh, I, I invite you to to, to recheck the, uh, the, the educational system in Anglo-Saxon uh, uh, countries and uh, and and the educational, the educational system in Francophone countries. Education in Morocco. Schools that offer good programs and concentrate on the students, making leaders who will later on be an added value to our nation. Teach English from a young age, and it doesn't take a rocket sense for this argument to be understood. We are an Ilarki institution, debating in the languages of Uncle Sam and Aunt Elizabeth, with almost a perfect accent, vocabulary, and grammar. I would like to thank our school and teachers, by the way. Wouldn't this be enough for you? Okay. How about the very first time we were introduced to English was here? From a Moroccan teacher. And since then, during the whole process of learning, relearning, reading, expressing and writing, he or she was the teacher, the advisor, and the companion. Our teachers are the fruit of the public and private Moroccan schools where Arabic and French were mainly used. Not only that, most of our teachers, because of the old program, did not start learning English till high school. Look at them now. I believe that they know better than anyone else that Moroccans are gifted, and we are born to overcome languages barriers. French is ubiquitous in our life. We use it in our, uh, we, have we had French words in our daily job? We use it every day in our schools, courts, jobs, political and financial institutions, and in our family conversations. Uh, using English as a second language rather than French 
is cutting off parts of this culture. Because if English is the uh, second language in Morocco, then, uh, I'm sorry, but preventing us from learning an extra language is even worse. Because if English is the most international language in Morocco, then, thank you. Dear leader of the opposition, um, I'm sorry to break it to you, but in this modern world, in, uh, French is not as important as it used to be, and English has obviously taken over. Now, nowadays it is obvious that English is a bridge language used in almost everything. It is by any account the most widespread language on the globe ever. The number of speakers is growing, as are the domains where it's used. Today, it spreads under its own steam. Everyone speaks English because everyone else does. And an important moment about 20 years ago was the onset of the, the internet. It connected the entire world in a single network of communication principally based on, of English, on English. Sorry. The result was explosive globalization and expansion in the use of the language. It is well established now as the world's lingua franca, which is a language used uh, for communication between groups of people who speak different languages. Um, and I would also like to correct you, dear leader of the opposition, on what you said in the beginning. When we count the top 10 most spoken languages according to Ethnologue, English is ranked number one, with 1. 132 billion total speakers, while French comes in the fifth place with only 279.8 million speakers. Recent statistics available online show that English is used by 55.5% of all the websites on the internet, while French is only used by 4%. The figures provided by UNESCO uh, concerning the number of internet users by language show that English outnumber any other users. A guide to forecasting the popularity of the English language in the, fourth, in the 21st century by David Gretel estimates that 85% of all international organ organizations now use English as one of their working languages. The data also confirms that English is the ultimate language of publication. The statistics and reports that call English the language of the future should be taken seriously because if we want to take a step forward, we have to reconsider the position of English and take it as a second language. Uh, first of all, dear government whip, um, you've I've said that French is a part of our identity, not our identity. And that's whether you like it or not. Uh, and, and don't forget that French colonialism did bring a lot of improvements to Morocco. How is that? So my ask, well, uh, you should re-dive in your history lessons because Lyoté built a lot of railroads and bring a lot of improvements in medicine, and the list is long, nor he was he alone. Uh, Charles Log, does that sound familiar? I don't think so. Well, it's not a simple issue at all. It's not a simple issue at all. I mean, you're free to think if it is, but with it comes the responsibility to answer a lot of questions. Like, how, how many times, like, how many times, how many years before we have qualified English workers to make inroads in the new market? What happens to the other half of the workforce that is geared towards French? And would we really, do you really think that we will we'll be competitive against other countries in a global market? And most importantly, do you really think that a U.S. company would, would want to set up a call center in Morocco rather than India, for instance? No. No, because Morocco will cost more and without a big gain. Don't misunderstand me, my friends. I'm all for it. But I just can't see how it can be done. Because their, because their opponents being optimistic is not enough to, to make what you're thinking will bring a lot of benefits to Morocco happen. Everything is advancing fast, and Morocco doesn't have time for trial. We can also restructure, but a radical change would be destructive. Thank you. I want to add something in the economy side, especially in tourism, as Morocco is considered as an important destination 
where most of the tourists would like to came, take a look, enjoy its beauty. No wonder 90% of them do not speak French and Arabic. So what this language that they will use? English. Anyway, over the last centuries, as the world has done so many discoveries and research in different topics such as science, um, to say Albert Einstein or Stephen Hawking or even Thomas Edison will not be a good point to prove my arguments, but the question that I should ask and we should ask is, in which language were the uh, scientific research were published, like for example, the book of Stephen Hawking, History of Time, uh, English. Okay, so, um, otherwise, as they go to different parts of the world to find different new uh, scientific research, they never find the ways to Moroccan universities. Why? This is due to the lack of linguistics that Moroccan students and Moroccan university professors have when it comes to English. This delay in access to information disrupts the development of the scientific research in Morocco and uh, uh, inhibits innovation and keeps Morocco under the linguistic per French protectorate. So adopting English as a second language will enable our Moroccan university to establish different, gaining meaningful partnership with a different counterpart, such as, for example, America, English, Canada, or even other countries that use English as a second language. This will empower our students to um, uh, to be part, to have the opportunity to be part of a new study expedition, and also um, be, uh, take full advantage of what the global academy has to offer. Thank you. Dear Prime Minister, you uh, told uh, my dear comrade that she's not focusing on the motion. Well, you're not either, because you're speaking about English worldwide while we are speaking about it in Morocco. As I was saying, that we are having a problem with this French language that has been here for decades, for years, for so long, and we are still having a problem with it. And we are expected to do a complete switch of languages, which obviously includes culture changes. It's a joke and very irrelevant. It's as if you're telling me that uh, to switch my identity, my beliefs, or my religion, it feels exactly the same. It's as if I've just arrived, or I'm so close to getting there, but you're putting me back on an infinity road. We should stop thinking only about the country because whatever, who, who's going to actually benefit from this economy and everything? Only the people who imply these rules. Imagine everything reversing to English. Uh, you feel, don't you feel pity for the citizens who have never heard a single word in English and still can't learn it? They will feel as if they were kicked out of their homeland or thrown into some other parallel universe or something else. And we should stop making assumptions about what English will bring to us because no one knows what the future holds. As I've said before, and I still repeat, not all the countries who have English as a second language have perfect lives or everything is great for them. I have a perfect example for you, South Africa. Do you have any idea how many problems this country has and it has English as the second language? Did you know that someone who was born in Morocco rather than South Africa would live 26 years more, longer than his actual life? He would be 61% less likely to die in infancy? How, how does this sound? Don't tell me that that's just the exception, because who tells you that we won't be just another one? I don't speak more French than Arabic at home. I don't know what you are talking about because this word of yours doesn't exist. And according to Gordon study, an average English speaker has less than half of the vocab that uh, an average French speaker has. So uh, I think that my friends here, what they defend then is that we should take the hard route instead of the, uh, the easy one. And uh, I want to. I want to stress on, uh, on another point, and for that, I will need you to do something. 
I will say, I will tell you a joke. You won't laugh, by the way. It's cheesy. Uh, I will tell you, knock, knock. I'm gonna say, who is there? I'm gonna say English, and then I'm gonna say the rest of the joke. Uh, knock, knock. English. Okay, English. That is not. That is ranked first with a total of 1.132 billion speakers versus French. That is ranked fifth with a total of 279 million speakers. That's a big, big colossal uh, difference. And uh, speaking of rankings, uh, according to top universities.com, uh, the top universities, the top 50 universities are all ranked from America, Canada, South Korea, Japan, but uh, most of them are, are speaking, are English speakers. While uh, the French uh, institution, uh, the FS, is ranked number 51. So uh, I don't know why you're thinking that French is more important than English. Truth to be told, English is already in the process of replacing French. Don't let the French colonization influence you that much. Let the world be your oyster. Thank you. I want to answer you. We are not saying that French is more important than English. We are saying that French is better for Morocco than English. Okay, and I want to, um, I found your uh, uh, percentages about, um, I found your percentages funny because according to sixth general census of population and housing, more known as RGPIH, 66% of Moroccans can read and write in French while uh, compared to only 18.3% who can read and write in English. So if we change, if we were to change French by English, only 18% of the population would benefit from that. And we don't want that, do we? After independence, several efforts were made to set up other extramural uh, methods and structures for Moroccan cultural and linguistic heritage. So the French language has never retained its status as a language of communication in certain administrative, educational, and media sectors. It is complementary to the mother tongue, Arabic or Berber dialect. French is gaining ground, invading exchanges in everyday life, transcending uh, its normal usage and becoming a, a vehicle for noble and prestigious values. Thus, there is a positive and accommodating perception whose tendencies give this language satisfaction and assurance. Today, the French language is synonymous with modernity. It conveys values and social conversion. The user applies it and thereby expresses his belonging to a certain educated, easygoing, and social modern uh, category. As a result, French becomes a vector for social values, namely prestige, social climbing, and modernity. In short, French is a factor of success.